Hello everyone, this is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, September 29th. It's the end of September already. We started fall, turned into fall on, on this past Sunday. And um, so we'll start seeing the leaves change. Every time I see the seasons of fall and all those beautiful colors, it reminds me of the Creator. So we have to remember that when we see these seasons, the Creator, the creation reminds us of the Creator. But this is also an election year. So if you've been on your TV, You've seen political commercials probably nonstop, so that gets me to the think uh, the idea of what makes a what makes up a good leader. So I want you to think in your head or list down your pros and cons or the traits that you think make up a good leader. Then once you have your idea or your perception of what makes up good, a good leader. See, when you watch any of these political ads or political uh, commercials, do they meet up to what you consider the standard to be a good leader? Why? Then you can figure out why or why not. So then there's also the question, do you think leaders are made or do you think leaders are born? Do you think people are born and they're natural leaders or do you think leaders are made by uh, going to different training classes and seminars and to become a good leader? So once you have your idea of uh, what a good leader is and what you're looking for in a good leader, I want you to read today's passage, 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 16 through 19. 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 16 through 19. You probably want to read the whole story to make sure, because this is pretty much the dramatic conclusion <clears throat> of the story, so you kind of want to read the whole story. And there's two leaders that are talked about in this story, and I want you to determine, based on what you um, thought of at the beginning of what makes up a good leader. Do either of these leaders mentioned in the, the Bible here in this passage in 1 Kings uh, chapter 12, verses 16 through 19, do they meet your requirements of being a good leader? And then you can kind of say, why or why not do they not meet your requirements? Or if they do, why do they meet your requirements? Then you see what happens with these leaders in this circumstance. And then... If you don't think they're good leaders, what would make them good leaders and how would that change? How do you think that would change the story and the result of the story? If you think they're good leaders, then what if they were bad leaders? How could the story change? Um, that's kind of what I want you to look at is have your idea of what a good leader is. Um, com compare it to the current political climate in our country during this election and take that same comparison to the two leaders mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 16 through 19, and that story. Um, and then we'll talk about it in my Sunday school class. I'll also be talking about it a little bit um, during uh, the church services. Uh, until then, take care and be safe.